Morning. I'm at the high school right now, and as I drove in, there was a very thick fog, and it gives us a perfect opportunity to check out some awesome condensation and a little bit of entomology as well. Fog is condensation. When it comes to fog, this usually means that water vapor has condensed around some small piece of dust that was in the air. But also under certain conditions, the water vapor can just condense together without that piece of dust being there. Those pieces of dust are called nucleation sites. Well, when a day is foggy, you can also have then those same conditions where the water vapor is going to condense onto, well, just about any surface it can find. Like these ones over here. Now with the contrast and the way the sun's hitting it, I don't know if you can see my face too well, but do you see what's behind me? Let me give you a little bit of a closer look. Okay, here's the grass. And here's where some water vapor has condensed onto a surface. Do you know what that surface is? Those are spider webs. Just like the water vapor condenses on little particles of dust in the air to make fog, well, in those same conditions, water vapor will condense onto spider webs that across the grass. This doesn't mean that necessarily spiders are building webs there to catch insects. They sometimes just use it as like a security line as they're crawling through the grass. But now, let me zoom out. With the sun rising where it is, you can so easily see just how many spider webs are across our lawn. How cool is that? That is all webbing. Pretty interesting to have some evidence of just how much spider activity is in your typical lawn. Condensation, phase changes are awesome. So is entomology. So cool.